Now at five, a show of solidarity after fire devastates one of the world's most iconic cathedrals. Paintings, chairs, armchairs, and uh, objects, you know, candle uh, holders. Tonight, hope amid the ruins and growing support to rebuild following the inferno at Notre Dame. Nearly $1 billion has been pledged so far to rebuild the cathedral following the devastating fire Monday. CBS News correspondent Ian Lee is in Paris tonight with the French president's plan to resurrect the historic landmark. Bells tolled at cathedrals across the French capital, exactly 48 hours after the fire began at Notre Dame. Cecil de la Ville can hardly look at the destruction. She has worshipped there for 44 years. She was so beautiful, and now the sky is sad, she says. This is such a shock to me. As donations pour in, French President Emmanuel Macron vows to rebuild the 12th century landmark in five years and make it even more beautiful than before. France also issued a call to arms for architects from around the world to compete to design a new spire to replace the one destroyed. The five-year plan for rebuilding the famed cathedral would have it finished in time for the Summer Olympics in 2024, when millions of tourists are expected to visit the French capital. But Parisians like Blanche say there's no rush to rebuild, and such a sacred structure deserves all the time it needs. For now, firefighters are assessing the damage. It's still not safe for investigators to get inside to search for the cause. But authorities say it's a miracle that so many treasures were saved. Paintings, chairs, armchairs, and uh, objects, you know, candle uh, holders. At the Vatican, Pope Francis thanked firefighters who risked their lives to save the holy site and its priceless relics. Ian Lee, CBS News, Paris. In the wake of the fire, Victor Hugo's 19th century literary classic, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, has soared to the top of France's online bestseller list.